We're going to update you on what has been happening in the Philippines. A pretty desperate situation there as rescuers are still searching for bodies that have been buried in a landslide. Latest figures putting the death toll from the storm that they've had there at 98. Uh, Tropical storm Nalji unleashing a series of flash floods and landslides destroying villages on the southern island of Mindanao. We can take you live to Manila and talk to the Red Cross's Richard Gordon who is there. Richard, always good to talk to you. I'm sorry it's in such horrible situation circumstances once again but can you paint a bit of a picture for us what is happening on the ground in Mindanao at the moment well once again it's a cycle of disaster and poverty and uh, our situation is very complicated because right now we're still trying to save lives I think they're I'm trying to be optimistic but uh, there's a disparity between the number of people missing and the number of people recovered uh, and we have to cover them with food and water uh, in another area in Mindanao, in Cotabato, and in the area of Maguindanao, uh, there's no water, so we're sending a lot of water tankers, uh, three to be precise, as well as uh, uh, jerry cans and uh, you know, hot meals on wheels. Uh, we're sending food trucks because it's very hard to cook. There's no water, and we have to make sure that the people are able to eat. We're also sending medication because leptospirosis will be in wild abandon there because people have been in the water and they could get all kinds of diseases. In the meantime, we're also sending, they will be in need of a temporary shelter. Uh, 190 people in that area where there was a landslide lost their homes, and there are others in the country that have lost their homes as well. So we are sending temporary shelter like tarpaulins for the moment. And later on, we'll probably send GI sheets or uh, corrugated GI sheets. So all along, the needs are water, food, uh, shelter and certainly med medicine and it's complicated in Mindanao because there's uh, uh, still some uh, bandits out there or rebels operating so they had to start at night we wanted to send lights but we were told that they're not going to work at night because there's so many uh, movements of uh, rebels as well as other uh, unwanted uh, or unsavory characters and Richard, what are the difficulties you face, you mentioned the rebels, with logistically just getting things around given the damage to all the infrastructure, the roads, and I think it's still also raining, isn't it? Yes, there are quite a few bridges down. And to be able to supply, we have to rely on neighboring uh, chapters. Fortunately, the Red Cross is well spread out in the country. So we're drawing from their supplies uh, in the areas that have not been affected. And we're drawing for our regional warehouses. And we need to travel about three to four hours before we get there. Although there is already supply on the ground, we would have to augment regularly and resupply. Richard, thank you so much. Good luck with your work in the coming days and hours particularly. Richard Gordon from the Red Cross. Thank you very much.